What are natural hazards and hazard risks? Natural hazards are naturally occurring physical phenomena caused either by rapid or slow onset events which can be geophysical, such as earthquakes, landslides, tsunamis and volcanic activity, hydrological, such as avalanches and floods, climatological, such as extreme temperatures, drought and wildfires, or meteorological, such as cyclones and storms or wave surges. Hazard risk is the probability of a hazard event causing harmful consequences, a loss of life or injury or damage. So what factors affect risk? A. Depth, intensity and magnitude of an earthquake. This is in direct relation to, with earthquakes because earthquakes have a starting point and this starting point, which is under the surface of the earth, varies from earthquake to earthquake. Sometimes it may be very deep, sometimes it may not be. If it is very deep, then the earthquake felt on the surface would be weaker. But if it is not that deep, then it is just near the surface, which then makes it stronger because there is less matter to take on the power of the earthquake. Earthquakes vary in strength and that this variation is caused by the varying levels of intensity and magnitude. The level of intensity and magnitude increases exponentially and the higher they get, the more devastating and stronger they become. B. Urbanisation and population distribution. Over 50% of the world's population live in cities now. Cities such as Istanbul, Los Angeles and Tokyo all lie on tectonic boundaries making them susceptible to earthquakes. Population density and distribution is also another factor because the places that are densely populated are the ones that are more susceptible to damage because a greater amount of people will be affected by the hazards that go with it. In 2010, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit Port-au-Prince in Haiti, causing widespread devastation and taking the lives of over 230,000 people. C. Poverty. There are a lot of people who have varying levels of economic status, wherein their education, knowledge and perception of these risks may vary. Some may see them as non-hazardous, while some may see them as hazardous. In cities such as Rio de Janeiro, an undersupply of housing has resulted in the development of shanty towns on unstable slopes which are susceptible to landslides. In conclusion, natural hazards pose major risks to people and properties in places which are affected by earthquakes and volcanoes, because there are a lot of factors that contribute to the creation of these risks.